Now, from our High Definition Studios, this is Local Edition. Hello, and thanks for watching Local Edition. I'm Eric Watilla. Two local venues have become a little more usable for the hearing impaired thanks to a recent donation. Benjamin Ari has more details on why this donation is so beneficial. Eric, Cadillac's High School Auditorium and Baker College's Student Center are both home to entertaining performances and valuable information. But what if some of the audience can't hear the sounds on stage? A new donation is helping to solve that problem and bring the community's voice to everyone. The donation was intended to provide a listening system, two listening systems actually, to um, the Cadillac area to help facilitate better hearing in those situations for people who attend the Cadillac High School Auditorium or Baker College's Student Center. The new system gives individuals direct access to the sound system. We modeled the system that we ended up donating here in Cadillac, the two systems actually, um, as to what was being done down in the southwestern part of Michigan. They have induction loop systems down there that enable the individual who wears hearing aids and has a T-coil or a telephone switch to the product to be able to go into that particular program and pick up wirelessly everything that's coming off of that PA or that amplifying system. So we thought that would be a wonderful way to bring that technology to Cadillac and allow the hearing impaired individual to um, better enjoy um, the acoustics um, in the auditorium and at Baker College. The president of Cadillac's Baker College is excited at the possibilities. Well, this is a student center and we hold a lot of events uh, in this room, both for the public and for our students and staff. We do a lot of training, workshops, lectures. So when a speaker speaks into a microphone, People who have hearing aids can hear uh, perfectly normally uh, through this enhanced uh, hearing system. And those behind the project hope it benefits all of the community. It might be their grandchildren or children's uh, performance at uh, Cadillac Auditorium, or it might be going to a chamber uh, luncheon. It was our hope that uh, this would lend itself to people becoming more outgoing and more um, into the community. Now those involved are also hoping to expand the system to other venues. I'm Benjamin R.A. for Local Edition. Now back to you, Eric. Thank you, Benjamin. Coming up next, Baker College and the Cadillac Schools aren't the only groups that recently received donations. We'll bring the details about some funding given to a few groups in Ludington. Stay with us. 